This is TOS Television, your digital force for African news network. I am Abigail Okwande and this is Africa Now. Gloria Cecilia Navarez, a Colombian nun who has been in captivity in Mali for almost five years, was released on Saturday following months of negotiations. She was kidnapped by the Masina Liberation Front, an Al-Qaeda-linked group, in February of 2017 near the border with Burkina Faso. There were no details given as to whether any ransom was paid for Navarez. Kidnapping once rare has now become a lucrative source of cash for armed groups in Mali. The return of Algeria's ambassador to Paris was conditional on France, showing it fully respects the North African country, said Algeria President Abdel Majid Tabon. Algeria last week recalled its ambassador to Paris over comments attributed to French President Emmanuel Macron in the newspaper Le Monde that Algeria's rulers had rewritten the history of its colonization based on the hatred of France. French President Emmanuel Macron said last week that he hoped diplomatic tensions with Algeria would ease soon. Over 5,000 Tunisians in opposition of President Kais Saeed's seizure of almost total power seizure tagged a coup protested in the capital defying checkpoints and security screening of protesters and a very heavy police presence. This comes a week after thousands in support of Saeed demonstrated in Tunis. In July, Saeed dismissed the Prime Minister, suspended Parliament and assumed executive authority in moves his foes called a coup. He appointed Najila Buden Rodman as Prime Minister but she is yet to name a government. The trial of Burkina Faso's former president, Blaise Campore, and 13 others is said to begin over the assassination of the country's revered revolutionary leader, Thomas Sankara, 34 years ago. Sankara and 12 others were riddled with bullets by a hit squad in October of 1987 during the purge that brought his friend and comrade in arms, Campore, to power. Campore, who has always been who has always rejected allegations that he orchestrated the killing will be tried in absentia by the military court in the capital, Ogadugu. Angry migrants, refugees and asylum seekers said they are afraid of the recent crackdown and killings on them by Libyan security forces. On Friday, guards in the detention center killed at least six migrants there as the overcrowding led to chaos, according to UN Migration Agency. Libya has become a major transition point for people seeking to reach Europe in search of a better life. Libya's government of national unity said it was dealing with a complex issue in the illegal migration file. This is your digital force for an African news network, TOS Television. You are watching Africa Now, business stories and more coming your way after the break. So stay tuned. Welcome back in business. Marketers of liquefied petroleum gas in Nigeria have won that 12.5 kg of cooking gas currently selling between 7,500 naira and 8,000 naira could rise to 10,000 naira before December if nothing was done to address supply shortage leading to the persistent increase in the price of the commodity. The rise in prices of gas has driven more Nigerians to seek alternative sources of fuel such as charcoal, firewood, sawdust, among other energy sources whose prices have started rising as well. The marketers say Nigeria's federal government needs to review the recently introduced import charges and value-added tax. Still in business, Egypt's annual urban consumer price inflation climbed to its highest in 20 months in September, rising to 6.6% year-on-year from 5.7% in August, data from the country's statistics agency showed on Sunday. Headline inflation was last this high in January of 2020, when it reached 7.17%. The rate remains well within the target range of 5% and 9% set by the central bank. And moving away from business, sporadic rainfall patterns in Madagascar caused by climate change have driven many families to hunger, with several UN agencies warning that imminent famine is expected. Researchers at the University of California at Santa Barbara say rainfall in the Indian Ocean Island have been below average for nearly six years. Temperature in Southern Africa are rising at double the global rate, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says. According to the World Carbon Project, Madagascar produces is less than 0.01% of global carbon dioxide emissions. 
Prosecutors in Egypt have ordered the arrest of three people following the dumping of thousands of unused doses of a coronavirus vaccine near the city of Minya, south of Cairo. The authorities said nearly 20,000 doses of the Chinese-made Sinopharm vaccine, with a value of more than $300,000, had been allocated to the Minya Health Directorate what had gone to waste after being stored at the wrong temperature. And in sports, Nigeria Super Eagles in Douala on Sunday took a massive step towards qualifying for the knockout and final phase of the World Cup qualification for Qatar 2022 by defeating Central Africa Republic 2-0 to avenge last Thursday's loss to the Wild Beast. Leon Balogun scored the opening goal at 29 minutes and Victor Osimen netted the second goal in first half stoppage time. The victory takes Nigeria to nine points from four games in Group C. And that is it on Africa Now. For more updates, to visit our website at www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow us and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube to stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Abigail Okwade. Thanks for watching.